and pleasant day to you coming to you from Naples Florida how are you doing guys and gals hopefully everything is going great in your day this is Thursday it's a Thursday before um, I have like a lot of stuff happening this weekend it seems like there's always like a lot of stuff happening for my weekends right or my weekday but um, <clears throat> that's why when you do get a day off you know you really cherish it I'm, but I'm working on on, on this uh, my day off and it's because of uh, some ideas I've had about finding ways to monetize that sounds kind of I don't know um, how would you say it? trying to monetize a journey like this but the reason why is because and I was talking with a fellow cancer person patient I don't know how you call them I'm so new to this and they were saying the same thing so we got to find a way to like you know pay for some of these medical bills people just don't understand that when you get into the situation of wanting to make some money off of maybe giving people help through things that you've researched and found out it's like you have knowledge that maybe not maybe you know would benefit them um i think it's okay to make a little money off of that i mean that's what um professionals do that's what medical people do your doctor does that your consultant does that you know people that are like doing things in your life to assist you and help you better go down that straight and narrow or doing it um, because they got to pay for bills they got to pay for stuff uh, food you know and baby needs shoes as one of my friends always said you know give me give me uh, the give me the overtime yeah I used to be in charge of uh, assigning overtime in one of the departments I worked in he says baby needs shoes give me the overtime so there's that part of it and um, working um, on every little minute you can in, in order to make something um, become financially beneficial I don't think it's a bad thing you know I mean I think uh, you have bills I have bills um, because of my situation I'm not able to pay, to work the way you are possibly and I hope you understand that um, I'm not and uh, my friends are not trying to seek to do some sort of financial gain on top of an illness that we have because that's not it it's <laughs> You know, I wish it was a different way. I want to work the way you do rather than, you know, have, have, having to use the situation to, you know, draw attention to the necessity of paying bills, which are hard to pay when you don't have a nine to five job or when you don't have a side hustle that can really happen. So that's what it's all about. It's not about um, trying to create something that uh, we don't deserve you know some people frown on that I don't like I got this direct message this morning from somebody that wrote and said you know oh well I don't like so-and-so's website because it looks like she's trying to monetize the situation I thought gosh how else is she supposed to make money you know she's in a dire predicament where she can't do normal things you know maybe she can help somebody else with the vast information she has because I doubt any of you are studying the things that we study to a degree that it's a life or death situation so just think about that before you condemn or criticize somebody okay thanks I want to get on to tomorrow I have a virtual doctor visit with with this guy I've been talking about in Brazil, Dr. Rubens, I do not know what to expect, but I'm hoping, above all hopes, that it's something that's going to provide to be very beneficial to me. I'm going to try to take the call on my Mac, which allows me to do like a screen recording along with the microphone, so I can have this as 
uh, you know, something I refer back to. So it's going to be sort of a Zoom, but I hear he uses Google. I'm not sure what Google thing is out there nowadays, but I know they have, you know, it used to be Hangouts, now it's probably called something else. Dr. Rubens, I know he's going to be talking about, um, because he had mentioned this, about the emotional connection that you have to any disease like this. And he's found that to be true, I guess, in his studies. And I suppose there is uh, that component of it when you have something emotional going on in your life that it does drag down your immune system. Um, sometimes, I suppose, it could drag your immune system down to a point where a cancer could start to take off. But, uh, and he'll get into that, I'm sure. Um, in my situation, I can think back, um, I had separated from uh, my ex of, well, she was my wife at the time of 18 years, and uh, it, was, it was rough, you know. I, um, she says now that we could, we could have patched it up, I should have stayed with you, you know, all this talk, but it's kind of late now that she's been married to somebody else for the past five years, so... Anyway, but it's, it, it is interesting to hear that, you know, it's like, okay, yeah, that's what I was trying to tell you during all that time. So what happened to me is during the time of separation, I turned to drinking because that was in a, a way that I could escape from all that crap that I was going through, you know, all the, the stuff that's uh, in your head and, you know, thinking that you were a failure and that you couldn't get this thing back together and um, this is the reason why and you know instead I would just I would think that but then I would start drinking normal normal drink at the time was um, vodka and orange juice just do that I guess you call that a screwdriver and just do those like one after another until I was like completely wasted and um, that happened for quite a few days and then from then on it was easier to get into my wine drinking which I did through um, probably the past 10 years um, you know like pretty heavily and I think that led to like compromising my liver and gallbladder to such a point where they just uh, you know so it was easy for the cancer to to take hold there because uh, they were in a good compromised position and had not a lot of strength to fight with all right so but uh, you know what he's gonna do other than the emotional part, I'm not really sure. Um, I'm hoping it goes on for like an hour. I'm not really sure what questions I can bring to the table, but I know I'm really good at like coming up with spontaneous stuff. So I'm sure I'll have plenty to talk about with Dr. Rubens and I'll report on that in the next video. Let's see what else is happening. Um, I know with an eventual visit to Brazil and to speak with Dr. Rubens, hopefully he can help me, if not, you know, a couple of the other physicians I know in the Sao Paulo area can help me with the, remember I talked about the um, push press uh, therapy that Dr. Thomas Siegfried, uh, Siegfried had uh, discussed about, you know, the way to just like almost totally eliminate cancer from um, controlled uh, animals. Um, I want to try that. Uh, I talked today to Pablo, um, my my friend over in London, and uh, Pablo was saying that you know he was like a patient, I suppose a virtual patient of Doctor Seyfried, and um, they had done this, and he had actually got some of the glucose inhibitor medication, which is what I want to get in Brazil. That's where Dr. Rubens is, by the way, in Brazil. And medications are much easier to get there. Here, we're just like, it's, you know, it's crazy. It's such a mafia here to get anything without paying such a price. And I saw on uh, Pablo, so his receipts that he had, that even getting some of this glucose inhibitor stuff from China was pretty expensive. So uh, it's not cheap. But I think if I can get a hold of metformin and then some of the other um, medications that they use uh, for malaria treatment down there, it'll be a good thing to uh, be able to use that in conjunction with my therapeutic keto diet, which uh, for the moment has been a challenge. The last few days I just have had a challenge in staying within my numbers. 
I'm not really sure why. I'm kind of thinking if it's because my diet that I had in the days leading up to this fast that I'm on, going into my PET scan that I have coming up on Friday. So, um, on, th- on Saturdays, sorry. So what's going on is tomorrow I have Dr. Rubens for an hour, sometime in the afternoon, right? And then on Saturday at three o'clock, which is the next day, I have, I had to make sure, yeah, on Saturday, I have my very first PET scan that's coming up at 3 p.m. And my port is in, probably going to be the first time they use that, which is kind of different. Never had used that. I have Sunday to myself. And then on Monday, I have my colonoscopy, which is invasive, to say the least. So this thing with uh, Dr. Rubens, um, i got to get down what time that's going to happen. I've talked to Louise, but I don't think... Uh, I have to go through our messages to find out when because I've been uh, having this abdominal thing going on that it kind of takes away from, you know, knowing what's what's going on. <clears throat> I mean, when you have a pain in you that's so distracting um, that it's hard to keep your track of your schedule it's uh, that really is tough anyway that's beside the point I'm working on this uh, project that I told you about earlier to be able to pay some of these bills hopefully it'll take off and I can get into other areas uh, first I thought it would be good since uh, I'm gonna be dealing with sprouting broccoli for health that I niche down right into that and people I've noticed there are a lot of people that are interested in broccoli for for health for health reasons you know they want to keep healthy and stave off any kind of possible cancers or uh, you know I think it probably is suitable for other diseases as well but it has been proven to you know to really keep cancer cells at bay and to also keep cancer cells from like progressing and that's a good thing so we want that so um, I, I got in touch with somebody that uh, puts these courses together these ebooks together and has been very successful at um, selling them on different platforms and you know that's I, I'm, I'm pretty good as a writer I think and pretty good as a videographer um, this is not going to involve much video maybe some pictures but uh, where the platform that I really mainly want to sell it to on uh, is uh, Gumroad which is a platform a lot of people use on Twitter I've noticed uh, I've purchased things from Gumroad and it seems to be a very cool platform to do this with so I'm uh, hoping that you guys are with me on this and are curious about the different things that I'm going to be writing about and offering. Uh, they're going to be short, short things, you know, not things that are going to take your whole vacation to read. You know, things like uh, sprouting, proper ways to sprout. You know, I'm investigating all this sort of like so you don't have to. A lot of things I know used to sprout like a ton back in the day. But there's some things I'm learning that, you know, we've progressed in sprouting. It's become more modern. So I want to pass those little ideas on to you. There's also something that, uh, you know, from my marketing side, as far as my social media marketing side, that is um, interesting to find out that a lot of companies, a lot of individuals that have like a program or a service or something to sell don't really know how to grow their Instagram accounts or when they do grow their Instagram accounts the people that start following them are the wrong people you want people that want to buy your product or service right you don't want people that are just like you that are selling a service or that are your family or friends because they're not going to buy from you you want people that have a need and you want it you want to fill it so 
um, that's a big error that people make when they start with an Instagram account as if, you know, let's say they're in the um, window cleaning uh, industry. Well, they go out and find other window cleaners and they like their stuff. And then that window cleaner will like, you know, the other person's Instagram account. So when you look in your followers, you have like window cleaning companies, window cleaning products, window clean. These are people that are not going to buy your product or service ever because they're in the same business you are. They're your competitors. And a lot of people have this on Instagram. You do not need 10,000 people following you on Instagram to make a sale. All you need are a few hundred very, very focused people that are interested in your product or service. So that's the way this works. And um, I've been doing business on Instagram for years, also on the web. And I'm really excited about the ebooks because these are for mainly for my Twitter followers, but also YouTube. And I want to offer you know, this to you, not because you necessarily are uneducated about certain things, but as a way to also help me, you know, you help me pay for some of my stuff um, in, a, in a sort of charitable way, but at the same time, you get some, you get some benefit out of it. It's not just, you know, you're, you're giving something to a cause but, you know, it's like I get zero in return for it. So I want you to get something out of this. So if something like growing Instagram followers benefits you, or if something like figuring out how to sprout or how to make plants grow better, or, you know, whatever your field that you'd like to learn more in, um, I hope to like cover a gamut of different ideas and things that uh, you know maybe I'd touch on something that does interest you I know for most of my life I've been one of those guys that's like a jack of all trades right that's where they got the word general from like a general in the in the army he's the kind of guy that you know has a general knowledge of just about everything so you want to have that guy out there um, I have a lot in my toolkit and hopefully I can help you and hopefully you can help me and this will be mutually beneficial. So that's it for today. Hopefully you're doing well and uh, I'm gonna get this video out to you and uh, tomorrow we're gonna have lots to talk about for sure so I hope you don't miss that episode. Thanks for subscribing. That's very important to me and thanks for any thumbs up helps the algorithm as they say. And any comments, I love comments. A few people comment because I know it takes time to comment. But if you put a little something in the comments and just let me know that you're there, that would be very helpful to me. Thanks so much.